Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, could you throw some light on uh, what is said about the Holy Quran about man going forth in search of knowledge? What is the Quran standing on? About man going forth in search of knowledge. The Holy Quran yes. promotes knowledge as no other book has ever promoted knowledge. So what else do you want to know? I couldn't follow your question. There is no ambiguity about it. The Holy Quran as well as the traditions of the Holy Prophet promote knowledge to such extent that uh, never any religion before <coughs> promoted so, knowledge. The Quran is guiding in itself. Huh? The Quran is guiding for it in itself for the whole mankind. Of course, of course it is. And, uh, and so it mentions, as the Sulaykhi mentions China. And that is not very significant to mention China. Even if you have to go to China to seek knowledge, you go. It has many significances. One, China was far, far off place, of which an Arabian could never think of, which, which place could not be reached by an Arabian. At that time. Has so the word knowledge been used in the Holy Quran? Huh? Has the word knowledge been used in the Holy Quran? Yes. So, so often, so repeatedly, yes. that the word Alim, Sifat, Allah, Allah's attribute, is so extensively used in the Holy Quran that one is surprised. And if you put all the books together, in the name of religion, whichever books have been revealed or thought to be revealed, and count the words alim or but any word pertaining to knowledge, the Holy Quran would exceed in number of that mention. So it's so extensively used, the word ilm and alim, that no other book can compare, and they jointly cannot compare with the Holy Quran in the cigar.